Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Ghost Town Challenge. Fiona Westfall, our founder, has aged up to child. So now she gets to work on some more interesting things than toddler skills. We also get to work on a new aspiration, and she's doing that right now. As she's talking to Bella Goth and Lori Parrott. All the other children are about to come home from school, so she'll have plenty of people to talk to. And I also want to try to make her good-mannered and responsible. So we'll be working on that as well. I don't know if I have any... Nope. I don't have any options to compliment as a, as a child, so we'll have to use other things. And here come all of the other children. Everybody crowds into the house and complains about going to bed. And hygiene. And some of them need to have some fun. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about homework too much. Because even though it does give you responsibility and get your grades up, I have the good schools trait lot. So, or lot trait. So, hopefully she'll get her... She'll get her uh, her grades up just by going to school, and it won't really matter that she's not doing her homework. Because I want to spend time doing other things. Alright, and even though she's met all of these sims technically, uh, as a toddler, she can still get credit by talking to them for the first time as a child. So it used to be that this aspiration didn't work that way, but for but now it does. So all she has to do is actually talk to someone. And she gets credit for meeting them. Now one of them needs to be my friend, for, at least for this level of the aspiration. And the problem is that they tend to go all over the place and walk away when I'm talking to them. Okay, so now can we make a friend? Oh, she can't be funny. Oh, that stinks. She's too sad to be funny. Oops, that was the wrong button. Yeah, I really don't care about emotional control, so... Maybe we can use that to actually get her responsibility and manners up. Is We'll just, every once in a while, ask for advice from a caregiver. And then you can kind of change what they... Um, what what they actually have uh let's see well right now we're going to go record a vlog yeah i want to do at least one video before she goes to sleep Ugh. and of course she's going to cancel that oh she made a friend huh why can't she? Oh, she can't go upstairs. I haven't let her up here yet. Oh, that's why. I can just unlock this. There's there's no more toddlers. <laughs> no, this is your bed. 
I completely forgot that I did not adjust any of this stuff for her. Okay. We're going to do one video before we go to sleep. Oh, the nanny is probably her friend. Yeah, she just had to get reacquainted with the nanny. Oh, she has two friends, Lori and the nanny. So she has to get level five in social skill and then make a best friend. So all she has to do really is ask the nanny to be her best friend once she gets there. Oh, yes, I know. It's so sad. I believe the butler died last time. Oh, is she going to leave? Yes, yeah, she's going to leave. Oh, well. We'll ask her to be our best friend another time. And I'm less concerned about playing on triple speed now that all of the children are capable of taking care of themselves. The toddlers were a little bit, uh, you know, they had to interact with an adult in order to get their hunger need met. So I couldn't play on triple speed because that would just cause too much glitching with all of the different toddlers requ requesting stuff from the adults all at the same time and none of them would ever get any food. So. It's going to be nice now that I can at least go through the boring parts a little bit quicker. And I'm going to try and keep her money separate from the household money. Because she doesn't get full credit for paying back the household funds because there are a bunch of other children. And the idea is... The children together pay, pay for this debt that is incurred by the first household. So there's 16 kids and the idea is supposed to be that all of the 16 children chip in in order to pay for this first uh, orphanage and all of the expenses that go along with the orphanage. Why does that get stuck? All right, well, if I cancel it, she's already made the video, but for some reason it doesn't drop from the queue when it's supposed to. And we'll, uh, I am going to put these tubs in inventory. There are no more toddlers. Everyone is going to go take a bath, or take a shower, where they're supposed to take it. <laughs> I'm tired of them going into the toddler bathtub area. You take a shower upstairs. Yeah. And then, of course, they can't get out because they technically don't have access, but they got in somehow. Yeah, go take a shower upstairs. You are not allowed in there. Okay. After she finishes editing this, uh, we might have to have something to eat before we go to bed. Because the way it works with Sims that are a glutton is that you can never have your hunger read because they get very uncomfortable whenever they're hungry. So you have to completely avoid getting hungry at, or at least red. 
I, yellow is fine. But once they get into the red, then if they're doing something that will eventually cause them to earn money, like painting a painting or editing a video like she is, she has to immediately stop once her hunger gets red and go eat. And if any money comes in from royalties while her hunger is red, then she loses that money. So I am going to try and avoid having her hunger low in all situations. And we got two hours until we pass out, so. Oh yeah, but before we do that, we need to actually upload that video because I don't want to have to come up here and do it after I'm done eating. Maybe I should put a, uh, let's put a mini fridge up here. I think I had a cooler up here before and that didn't work because when the, the kids could only get like cereal or something really simple from it and then they would sit on the cooler and nobody else could get anything from it. Okay, so I know you're tired, but we're going to submit this video really quick and then we're going to get something to eat. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you can get everything from that fridge that you can get from a normal fridge, which is nice. I haven't used that one yet. That's from the university pack. But it's a cheap option, and it actually makes sense to have a mini fridge up here instead of a full kitchen fridge. Okay. And maybe we'll also use the restroom afterwards. Because who doesn't go use the potty before they go to bed? Sims don't. Oh, and she's going to go downstairs to eat it. I wish you could specify where they eat. Maybe I should put some chairs upstairs too. Well, I put the mini fridge upstairs so that she wouldn't have to go downstairs in order to get something to eat. And she's going to go downstairs in order to sit. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes they will sit on beds. Why didn't she go sit on her bed? Uh oh, she might be sick. Yeah, these are only comfortable seven. The beds, okay, they don't really have a comfort rating, but they will go sit on toddler beds. Is she sick? Yes, she's sick. Okay, I don't really want her skipping school. So maybe we should order some medicine. I don't know if they can take medicine. I know toddlers can't take medicine, which really made me upset. <laughs> I tried to have the adult order some medicine for the toddler, and she wouldn't drink it. She had no way to drink it. So it's like, well, if the toddler gets sick, the toddler just has to stay sick. But it looks like children can take medicine, so that's good. Ah, she's going to pass out. Oh, well. I thought I had enough time, but nope. That's okay. Let's see. Well, I'm not too worried about the hunger. We'll just take the medicine, go use the restroom, and then go to bed. Oh good, that counted as an asp as a whim. <laughs> All 
All right, and she's going to need to take a shower when she gets up. All right, how is everyone else doing? Harry, why aren't you going to sleep? Well, some Sims, when they get their energy into yellow, they will go to sleep. And other Sims, when their energy is red, they will still be doing playful things or fun things. And they have the exact same traits. I don't get it. Oh well. I wish everyone would go to sleep right now, but that will never happen. So if anybody has their energy bar full and they have other things that are red, I'm going to go ahead and wake them up. So that way we can get everybody with their needs pretty much full before school starts tomorrow. And also, I wanted to put the urn back in here. I figured out a way to do this so that they can't come and mourn autonomously. Because that annoys me. So I'll make a room in the basement. And put the urn here. But there will be no access to that room. So they can't come in here and mourn, but the ghost will still come out, which it might be kind of cool to have a ghost of a previous butler helping out. So I'm going to put the urns there because I know Lori also is going to be down there eventually. So it would be nice to keep her around, even if she's in ghost form. Okay. Oh, and what I also need to do, I think, is put those little night lights around the single beds. Because I think that they can still get scared of the monster. Even if the monster comes down here. Oh, this is going to be hard to do because it's cluttered in here. Okay, I don't know if that will work too well, but that's what I'm going to try. Yeah. Let me put it at a little bit more reasonable height. And choose an appropriate color. And I don't think any of the colors really are going to work in this room, so we're just going to pick that one. I don't think it will matter because we won't actually see it. Fortunately, that wall is mostly hidden. Yeah, so we won't even see those lights. They'll just be there. I just really hate when that monster comes out and wakes up every single child. It doesn't matter where they're sleeping. Yeah. 
if one kid sees it, then they all see it. Okay, what time is it? 3 a.m.? Wow. It takes a long time to get energy up. And those are pretty decent beds. They're not the best beds, but they're decent. Oh, and of course, the sim that I'm not controlling is probably going to stand there and eat. Nope, she's going downstairs. Okay. Well, their energy bar doesn't have to be all the way up. It just needs to be most of the way up. They can make it through school with a half an energy bar. Uh, making it through work, though, since it's a longer day, you have to have your energy bar almost full or they will get very cranky when they get home from work. And start waking up some of the ones with energy full so that they can go get their food because that takes a long time or use the restroom. Oh, and we have one of the showers already that's broken up here because they're now actually using it. But the butler will come in and repair it. Yeah, that's what I like. Okay, don't mop the floor. Repair the shower. <laughs> Maybe she'll repair it. We'll, f we'll figure it out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought she was just going to mop the floor and not repair the shower. Okay, almost everyone has a full energy bar now except for Craig. And Fiona. Craig is just going to have to wake up when it's time to go to school. He's decently okay on all the other needs anyway, so not a big deal. Fiona, though, probably needs to eat. Because I don't want her hunger bar getting red while she's at school. If it does, she has to come home immediately, even if it goes back up. Because I know while they're at school or while they're at work, they will fill their hunger need, but it can't be read at any point. Oh, she... Maybe I should go talk to Bella Goth. Was it my birthday that she's talking about? I don't know. Probably, because... Mine was the most recent, or Fiona's was the most recent. <laughs> anyway, we'll go downstairs and talk to her if we can eventually get there. And hopefully we'll have enough time to eat something. I think her energy is, it's okay. It's fine. The only problem is when she gets home from school, she's going to need a nap or maybe to go to bed early. And she's still very sad. <laughs> and oh, she starts playing music. Okay, so she doesn't have a birthday present for me. I guess. And she leaves. Well, that didn't make much sense. Okay, I don't have very much fun. 
Oh, and I thought I took this medicine. Yeah, I guess it has more than one shot. That can't be right. That medicine probably doesn't exist. Let's see, what can I do really quick to get my fun up? Well, school starts really soon. I probably don't have time. Yeah, we're just gonna forget about it. Go to school. And we're make, we'll make her work really hard and then just fast forward through the school day because there'll just be two adults at home. So that should go really quick. Study hard. That way, once her grade gets up to be an A, I will have her take her vacation days as much as possible so that she can spend time doing other things like working on her aspiration or her character traits. Okay, she's sick. She's probably not going to school, is she? And she's sick. Yeah, when they're sick, they don't go to school and they get a sick day, but yeah. So it doesn't affect their performance, which is nice, but it does cause them to miss out on enhancing their performance. So that's why I had Fiona take the medicine so she could go to school anyway. And then hopefully her grade is going to get up or at least, hmm, oh, that's Ezekiel. Um, yeah, I don't care unless it's Fiona, Jasper. Oh, yeah, maybe I should answer these because sometimes they're Fiona. And it's Gabriella. Oh, she got $88. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have to remember that. Her sad vlog earned her $88, and she needs to open an account and put that in there. I have a mod that allows me to open separate checking accounts, so I can keep track, I can more easily keep track of the money that Fiona has versus the, the money that's just household funds. And of course, her fun is terrible. But that's okay, she'll have more fun when she gets home. And she's very sad, but her performance is still going up, so I won't really need to do homework. Why are they over there? Oh well. And she got sick again. Well, that sucks. I already had her take medicine. Okay. Anyway. Her performance is still going up, even though she's in a, a bad state at school. Which doesn't make any sense, but that's how it is. Oh yeah, and I've got to watch her hung hunger, I forgot. <laughs> If her hunger turns red, she has to go home. But she was pretty much maxed on hunger before she left, so I doubt that will happen. I'm not even sure I need that maid anymore. Maybe for the laundry.
I'm just going to cancel the maid service. Oh no. Well, I was going to cancel the maid service. Yes, there goes Lori as all of the children are coming home. That's going to be really sad. And all the children come home just in time to see Lori die. And she was already sad for two days. Great. Some of their grades are up. But everybody is sad because Lori has passed away. Now the next child to reach teenage is probably going to be June. So... I'm just going to go ahead and assign that. And she's going to sleep down here from now on. Oh no, she's not going to sleep there. That's right, she's going to sleep here. And then Elena is going to sleep here. All right, well, I'll sort that out later. Oh, why don't you go use the restroom? I know your fun is down, but you can do that later. Okay, let's move this. So that no one will interact with it. I have to get her fun up somehow. Maybe if she goes in swings for a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to open... See, that would be 68 plus 20, so that makes it 88, yeah, $88. Yeah, don't go wash your hands, it's all the way over there. I wonder if she's still sick. No. Okay, well, I have no idea. Ah, oh, she's just going to sit there. There we go. Is that fun? Yes, that is fun. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here.